Hello everybody, Nathan here. And today in this video, I'm going to be playing Call of Duty Zombies. By myself though. So hopefully I don't do too bad. And hopefully... Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? So once this is gone, this I will skip it. Actually no, I'll play the entire thing. I'll be quiet now. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. Thing is, Max's went and ballsed everything up. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning thingamajig and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. to be absolutely truthful with you. Things have gone way too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-wo
So you pay for that door. You take these little jump pad things. And then you... Then they bring you to a new kind of map, really. So I'm kind of trying to explain, like, how to get Pack-a-Punch open, how to build a zombie shield. Yep, that kind of stuff. I might be able to build a zombie shield, might not. So, and, yeah. So, if I do, then good, but if I can't, then it's okay. Then I can still get pack a punch open if I don't die. That's the thing, I'm not that good at playing by myself, so I can, I can possibly die. So, looking around, I look at this wall, this wall, and that wall for zombie shit parts. But I also look at this wall. If you see right there, that's actually a zombie shit part. So we got lucky, it's right there. So the last kill was instant kill, of course it is. But that's okay, because we can get points real quick, as fast as we can, hopefully. That way we can get one zombie alive again, open this door, get that zombie shit part, and then maybe finish that corruption engine. And then move on to the next one. So there's a total of four. Normally, well, I say there's three. Just because we always do one right in the beginning. That's just what we do every time. So there, I'd say there's three that we actually do. But there's... Okay, so there's actually four. But, you know, the first one you just do. Then you do three more after that. So there's four of them. So here's a part of the summoning altar. It can spawn there, or it can spawn on a table. I'll show that later, soon. But right now I got, right now I'm trying to get the, like, uh, the anti-gravity thing on. So let me just get some points, and then see if I can get this on. Okay, so I got this on, so what you want to do is you want to run, and you've probably already looked at the walls, hopefully, so that way you know where the zombie shoot part is. So, like I said, it can be here, there, or on the other side there, and there. So, it can spawn there, anytime, like, that part. <clears throat> but that's the only spot that that part will spawn. So, you'll always find that part in this place. So, just so you know, that way you're not looking for, like, one part at a different map, okay? So, look in the same spot every time. And I almost just got down. <clears throat> that was really scary. Okay, so I got that, so that's two engines down. And when you do these, you can look around there. See that? I have two of them done, so I need two more done. So let's see if this is the last zombie. If it is, then I will kill him. But it's not. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to kill him. Oh, okay, that was the last zombie. Just because I'm playing by myself, I'm going to grab a gun. Normally, if I'm playing with another friend or four people, I don't grab a gun at all, really, until pack punch is open. Or we, ha or I have a extra money. And I got trip mines. Okay, I'm actually really mad about that. I'm playing by myself, and I got trip mines. I mean, they're good, I guess, but... Like, they are good. Okay, they are good, but... Playing by myself, I want a gun, not a trip mine. So... You can probably see why I'm angry. But, that's okay. That's okay, I can make it work. And that nuke can actually make it work. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna try for another gun, just cause I didn't get a gun. So whatever gun I get this time, I'm not going to touch the box until I get all the engines done. So Man of War, I'm going to keep that gun until I get all the engines done. So now that I got those all done, so there's this place. You can go that way if you want, but I'm going to show you a faster way. So in this place, you got you got that engine done, the, this on, then you will get this door. That's the door that you want to go to. This right here. 1,250. So you open that door. It's a shortcut. It's a big shortcut. Like a really big shortcut. And maybe even saves you some money. Maybe. 
can, it can maybe actually save you some money, though. And also, guys, by the way, if I do die during this, I'm not gonna, like, try again, okay? So, however far I get, that's how far I'll get. So, I'll end the video however far I get. So, it's kind of gonna be a tutorial video, but if I don't get everything made, then you're, probably, you're just gonna have to look up another video. Sorry, but I'm not that good at playing by myself, so I'm trying my... I, I'm trying my hardest. I really am. So if you take the normal way, you'd come up through the like no under the under me right now. So, but I'm actually like this is actually a faster way because I'm here. Because normally you would have to come from down there and up here, and then run up here. So that purple part, pinkish keeper protector part will spawn here also. So if you didn't find it at the place I got it, then it spawned there. So I believe this is the last zombie. I'm going to keep him alive right now, because I need to, I guess. So now, let's see, I'm in this spot. Okay, so this is where another zombie shield part was spawned. I have one keeper protector part, one zombie shield part. I don't know how to get the stuff over, over there. So the stuff to the right, I don't know how to get. The stuff to the left, I do know how to get. Okay. So as I'm sure Park can spawn on here, 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 all just on this ball in general. And if it doesn't spawn there, it will spawn up here. I'm gonna get quick extra hundred. So one, I need one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for that. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna buy this though. So. Okay, so I'm going to buy this, that way I can get the engine done and be done. But, I'm playing by myself, I don't want to die, I'm not that good at this game, so what I do, when I'm playing by myself, oh, okay, never mind. But normally I would stand at a jumper pad, and when I'm really close to dying, I'll kill all the zombies I can. But when I'm close to dying, I will, um, what I do is I, I just like jump back and forth all the time, like over and over and over. So actually, this is a good round. I, I'm actually really glad I got this. Because these rounds are kind of like free rounds, in my opinion. Because <clears throat> they're free points. Easy to kill. But most people die from these. The reason they die is because they're not moving. If you move all the, like all around, left, right, up, down, or something like that, then you won't die most of the time. Normally, you don't even get hit. Like I haven't even gotten hit. But, okay, I just got hit there, but. And, like, if you're, real, if you're really close to dying, I just get in, like, a room, some something like this. And then, like, wherever they are, you shoot them. Okay, so I killed all of those. Free points, like I said. Free max ammo, all that stuff. Good stuff. So now I just do this engine before this round actually starts. Come on, start. There we go. I'm going to throw one of these down to kill some zombies. Throw another one down to kill more. Just make it a little easier on me. Like, something like that, so. I'm going to get them over here. You can shoot some of them. If you have a, if you have a gun, I would say that do that. Otherwise, do what I do. Just run around, keep them slow, and you'll be good. So I got one more engine left. Okay, so now that you, I just got this, what I like to do is I like to turn around, kill as many zombies as fast as I can. I got max ammo, so it doesn't matter. I mean, not max ammo. I got, like, double XP. So I like to kill all the zombies and try and keep one if you can, but just remember, you get double points. So it's really good. Like, really good. So I love to get, I just love to farm points. So look at that. I'm at 5,000 points right now. So I'm going to try and keep about two zombies because there will probably be runners or one. However it works out. Probably one, maybe two. So then you go up here. A zombie shoot park can spawn there. Or it can spawn over here. So you buy that door. Run over here. And look at that. I found a teddy bear. But they can spawn over here as well. 
And one last location for its spawning is over on this table. So if, it's, if you didn't find it there, then that's okay. So now what you want to do is you want to... Okay. Never mind, sorry. I just had a moment. Okay, so now if I go over here, jump. So I have no purpose to be over there. So now, you look around. I'm in probably one of my favorite maps, Mob of the Dead. So, you wanna... Oh, so you... Okay. Yeah, my free 100. And here's another summoning keep. I mean, keep a protector part. Spawned right there. I never even knew it spawned there, to be honest. Like, I really... That's the first time. So normally, I always thought I spawned in one location and one location only. So if you jump up here, there's bear. I dig it. Yeah, I got, okay. I don't know where the third bear is though, so sorry about that. Like right, if you're one of those people that love to get the song, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know where the last bear is. So you go over here, and then you run down here. Actually, normally I love it the box spawns there, but it did this time. That's okay. I don't care. So now by that door. And so the last zombie ship part will spawn either on this chair, sometimes over here, I think. And if it's not there or there, then it'll spawn right here. So look at that. All zombie ship, all three parts made. So now where I make it is I jump over here. You don't have to really, but... Oh, I just know you do. By that door. Okay, so I've gone through the entire map. I haven't bought every door, but most of them. I bought most of them. So now if you run through here, this is like that one room. So now you go to the room. Uh-oh. Okay, that's right, that's right. Never mind. Sorry, I got... I said it up. I forgot something. Okay, so as long as your car is made. Done with that now. So now what I want to do is... Zombies, zombies, zombies. Oh, oh, that was the last one. Crap. Okay, so I actually get the last one. <clears throat> That's okay. So now I want to go back through here. Sorry, I was just taking a little drink. So you run back through Origins. You run up here. Go back to where you were, and we'll do. We'll get pack a bunch open. Okay, just in case if I don't get, like if I die this round, don't get pack a bunch open. So basically, what you do is you run, like you do the last engine, which I saw you. And you go to where I made zombie shield, the zombie shield. So you go there, and you see those four lights that I was looking at earlier, like before I made the zombie shield, and I said like, uh oh, because like one of them was red something like that yeah i said uh oh because oh i thought they should have all been green but no yeah but that's okay because i messed up so i'm gonna use my zombie shield for this just to make it fast and easy so yeah zombie shield no problem no problem not hard at all so i just finished that and guess what now it's made. So I did the last one. I survived. I honestly did not think I was gonna survive. I thought I was gonna die this round and not because I'm shit made. I mean, pack a bunch of me. Sorry if I'm like talking way too fast. I I just wanna. I'm just excited. I wanna get this done. Okay, so right on time. So you wanna wait up here. Once that flyer runs through, you run up here. Hold, hold X. <gasps> okay. I died. That's okay. So you wanna hold X. And once he gets shot, there's a little barricade that I looked at. I thought I could buy it. So you look at that barricade, and as you're looking at it, it'll disappear or something as the beast is getting shot. So then you run through. The beast thing will open his mouth. You run through his mouth. And then there's these. And then you look up at the, at like, his kind of, like, heart-like thing, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but something like up on the ceiling light and you want to shoot these three like bright orange 
things like going to the center. Once you shoot all three, he will like spit out vomit or something out the pack a punch. It will land in the green acid on the floor, and that's how you can pack a punch. So if you don't know what I what I'm saying right now, I'm gonna see. So I've pack a punch before, so I'm gonna quickly see if one of my games I happened to pack a punch in one of them. So I want to say is this one. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skim through, see if I did, like if I happened to pack a punch in it. That way I I can show you the three things that you shoot and then pack a punch will drop. Okay. Okay, so it's loading real quick. Let's see if I can skip. Nope, not yet. Okay, so this is a 21 minute clip. So I'm gonna skip through some of it. And the funny thing is, this vi the video, like the YouTube video, is at 21 minutes right now. And r right now. It's at, it was at the duration of this little clip. That's funny. So I was thinking about, like, for this YouTube video, I was thinking about just playing one of my Pack-a-Punched clips, like that I did. Like, when I did Pack-a-Punch, I was thinking about playing one of those, but I was like, nah, because that way, if I did it, like, by myself, like, actually, like, right then and there, I could actually say what I was doing. Okay. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna skip through. Okay, so I am at the second one. And yes, I believe I did pack a punch this one. Okay, so I have nothing right now. That's okay. I'm gonna skip through a little more. Okay. So I believe I got down, but I'm with a friend, so he's up right now. There he is. Alright, so I got, I got two Kiva Protector parts. For right now, I'm going to see if I can fly around and see where that last part is, if I can. But actually, wait, no, I'd have to go through, back through there. So, sorry, but I can't show where the last part is. But the last part... You will know where it is because I got it when I was playing by myself. It was in that location and also it's where it's up above. Okay, so right now he's getting me because I got down because I'm stupid. Just kidding. Okay, so he threw a little Arnie and I was just waiting for that big beast to come. Okay, so once that beast comes, then here it comes. Okay, so you want to hold X. Like on him when he just comes, then he'll get shocked. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what am I doing? What's getting shocked right now? Oh, okay. I can't pack a bunch. That's why I was getting gun. So he goes through. I think. Okay. I don't know. This is him. I was a him, of course. So. So basically, yeah. See, right now he's going through his mouth like I was supposed to do. Okay, so you spawn, and once you spawn, I'm going to pause it right now. Okay, so if you look it, so here's that little heart-like thing that I was saying. So you shoot that, shoot that, and then the last one that you shoot is that one. He shot it, but I don't think he actually knows how to do it, so I'm going to just... Oh, okay, so he does. So I think he's just gonna, he just needs to shoot the last one, and he'll be good. Oh, he's actually, oh, he almost got down. That was close. He's clutching right now. So I'm just gonna skip a little bit. Okay, shut the last one. Pack-a-punch just dropped, so now he can pack-a-punch if he chooses, though. So I'm gonna look at me. Okay, so, see if he pack-a-punches, unless he gets down. I don't know. Okay, 
so right now he's just killing all these zombies. Nice, proud of him. Nice, good job, good job. So as I'm sure it is made, I don't have the keyboard protection made in this video. Okay, so he's pack punching right now. I'll just show you him pack punching. Okay, so he pack punched a Drake Con. No, 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 he didn't. No. Okay, so he pack punched his Peacekeeper. So that's what it looks like pack punch. So I'm gonna go to me. So I just made the zombie shit part. I'm actually gonna go back though, because I need to be here. Okay, so this is where I am. So, I'm in Origins, you know, a zombie ship park is there, a zombie ship park is found there, or there. So, right now, if I run through real quick, go up here, go through, but um, if I look, okay, so one zombie ship park can spawn here, I see where I am up there, can spawn there, and I just found out today, during this video, that another zombie ship park can spawn, sorry about this, if I'm, Makes you dizzy or something. I'm really sorry, but I'm not playing. So, what is that? I don't know. Okay, so the what? Another zombie ship part can spawn there, which it did. See? Okay, so if I had that part, like if I knew about it right then and there, what you do is you can put it in. So if you look around, there's a little spot that you put it into. I don't know where it is on this part of the map. But I believe it's up here a little bit. Okay, um. I don't know, to be honest. I'm gonna. Wait, I'm gonna. Yeah, I already checked there. Okay. But, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back in time a little bit. Because that way I can show you. Okay, actually, I'm in the spot right now. So, so right now I'm in this place, if you can remember, wait, yes, okay, so if you can remember, I, in, when I was playing by myself, I was here, there's a corruption engine right there, so if you go through, go up the steps, go up these steps again, and then go this way, take a right, see these things, if I put all my keyboard protector parts in there, it will build it like the zombie shield but what this does is when you are let's see okay so what it does is when like if you have five thousand dollars it's like pack punching this guy you put it in there and then like once it's in there you pay the five thousand dollars and then this guy will come out he'll be like all electric -y. I've never done it though so, sorry about that. Oh, and that was my speaker, by the way. So, he'll spawn. He will basically kill all your zombies for you, basically. Like, almost all of them. Like, but the thing is, you don't get points when he kills them. So, that's what happened. So, that's what you do. So, actually, there's a part right there. I just grabbed it. But, I didn't know where the last part was, so I didn't build it. So, I'm gonna see how we died in this video. Okay, let's we'll see what he's up to. So I believe I peck punched. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So there's him. Oh, he's going through there again. I just got down. So I do die. I remember that. So I do die. And I am dead. Okay, so now let's watch him. Let's see what he's up to. Okay, so he's just killing zombies, going through. Oh, I remember. This what happens is he goes through and he gets trapped and dies. No, I believe he was trying to pack a punch or something like that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's how I died. He was trying to pack a punch. So, well, this was a long video. 30 minute video. 
but I explained how to do everything. So I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. So please leave a like, comment on this video, like tell me like things I could improve on, maybe make the video shorter if you don't like 30 minutes, or maybe what games do you want me to play, like what games do you want me to try and play. Like just let me know in the comments below, and I will I'll respond back. I always respond back. So I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully I can make maybe another Call of Duty video if you would like. So, and the next video shall be a Infinite Warfare video. Well, the next Call of Duty video. And also, before I end the video, I have a series going on on GTA Grand Theft Auto 5 online. And what I'm doing is I'm off-roading. I'm driving off Mount Chilia, doing flips and all that stuff. So if you want, if you love off-roading, you love that kind of stuff, you love watching other people do it, then that's probably the video for you. But if you don't love watching that stuff, then I'm sorry, but that's not the video for you. Maybe this is. Maybe that's why you're watching it. So, well, I gotta end the video, so. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.